Professor Anne Bolenkamp Ringsham is the director of the Goethe House. It was restored to the 18th century original after its destruction in World War II. Goethe published over a hundred volumes in his lifetime and achieved worldwide fame throughout the 18th and 19th centuries. Visiting his home would have been high on the Edwardian tourist itinerary. A wonderful room, the, the, the father's library. Yes, the father's library and the room where the children got their lessons. And I've heard it said that Goethe is to the German language as Shakespeare is to the English language. Would you agree with that? Yes, I think so. And uh, to put Goethe in this place, Goethe is the first poet. Shakespeare um, was very important for him to uh, invent himself as a poet. Shakespeare was a great uh, inspiration for Goethe. He was very fascinated by the um, free and original style of Shakespeare in comparison to the French classicism. And he said it was like someone must feel who has been blind all his life and then suddenly uh, learns to see. You know? And it was like like this for him. Good girl. Okay. As well as being influenced by Shakespeare's realism, Mwah. Goethe wrote girl. in German rather than French, which is the language of the elite. He was the no, first German poet yes, to As the Germans during the 19th century began to develop good, did you? Uh, more self awareness and eventually develop a political German unity, do you think that what Goethe had done for the German language was an important in the project? Goethe was putting in words something which was in the air of his time. And yeah, Goethe she became looked, she likes important it. as a poet for. Uh, for the nation Lovely. building uh, which took place in the 19th century and he of course was one of the most important uh, uh, poets in German language throughout okay. the whole uh, 19th century Maybe. he um, became Maybe. something of a identification mark of Germanness for the Germans later on One leg Goethe became a national cultural icon and a unifying figure it's a role that he still occupies over 200 years later. You are lush. You are lush. You are lush. early to catch my train from Frankfurt. I'm traveling almost 150 miles north towards my next stop. Oh, there, see if she comes to me. My destination is Göttingen, situated in Lower Saxony. From there, I'll travel my final 75 miles up through the country <laughs> What are you doing? What are you doing, mistress? What are you doing? Go again, ready? Ready? Let go. Let go. My next stop will be Göttingen, which Bradshaw's Bellary is an old university town having picturesque streets. Tablets indicate houses where learned men are so the university of That list of men was growing. In the years oh, before yeah. the publication of my guidebook, there had been four Nobel Prize winners. This was or was to be the university of Max Planck, Max Born, Julius Robert Oppenheimer, men whose contribution to science uh, would change the yeah, world yeah. and indeed Let's on again. Let's be on again. Let's be on again. I like all this. Ah! Around the time that my guidebook was published, Germany was leading the way in science and technology. Ready? Inventions ah. like aspirin and the diesel engine, along with concepts such as quantum theory, meant re-evaluating our human capabilities and our position in the universe. Georgian University, founded in the early 18th century, was synonymous with innovation by the late 19th. In the 19th century, the students here began to concern themselves with more than academia. 
as their country was gripped in turn by war, revolution, and a growing nationalistic fervor. I've arranged to meet up with Dr. Marion Fussell from the university. Oh, hello, Michael. Hello, Marion. Nice to see you. Well met. Mm -hmm. I wanted to talk to you about the Burschenschaft. Oh, yeah. What is a Burschenschaft? A Burschenschaft is a student organization, but they're also lifetime organizations. You join for a lifetime and you don't stop uh, being a member of the corporation uh -huh. after you study. And they become in the 19th century very politicized.